This video is about how to write end-to-end -end tests in enterprise applications that use external systems that have to be mocked away. How Kubernetes can help us here and what technology to use. So assuming we have um, two enterprise applications that I call Hello Cloud and a greeting processor. So that means the first one uses the second one to answer some various calls. And now in an end-to-end -end test, we want well to mock away the second one. This is called Hello Cloud um, application. It returns just, well, a Hello Cloud output, but for a custom greeting, it returns the output using a greetings processor that actually talks to the second system using HTTP. And if we have a Kubernetes cluster running, and I can show you now the running services, that is, of course, the Hello Cloud service and the greeting processor service that is backed by a deployment that deploys pods here. So that means if I ask using my Kubernetes IP for the first system to give me a greeting, it will return, well, hello cloud. Or I ask for a custom greeting, for example, hello Kubernetes. And that second custom greeting is accessed by asking the second, um, the second system. That is um, done by a JSON here. However, if I want to system test my application here, the Hello Cloud application, and for some reason I need to mock away the external system because I'm not interested in the second one for now, um, what to use here? The nice story about uh, Kubernetes is that it uses um, services that have logical service names that encapsulate everything that runs behind, which is backed by pods. So it means it only exposes um, some ports, like here 8080, this is the Hello Cloud um, service, and it is backed by this running image that is here a, a private image, and so on and so forth. However, for my greeting processor, it is the same. It is run, uh, run and backed by some um, application running in a pod. But now I can actually replace this. If I am in a different namespace, for example, system namespace, then I could um, deploy something like this with the same service, just expose, exposing the same port, but it's backed by, for example, a running Wiremark instance. This is a Wiremark server that can be accessed using um, HTTP or using a Java API, which I will do. So my test actually is here the acceptance integration test that uses JUnit rules, well, to encapsulate all this behavior so I can write clean tests. For example, if I want to test a simple greeting resource, that is easy. I just access, well, give me the greeting and this external um, resource actually knows what it is. So this um, Hello Cloud class will actually wait for the startup and then probe against that is the service of the first system and it has the logic how to access this resource. And then this is being verified in that test. That is easy because it doesn't use the second system. But if I have some custom greeting here, then I have to control what, um, what I want to respond from my mock because now it is the actual running mock server. And using this um, rule, the, uh, what I call processor, I can actually and control the behavior. For example, I can tell if you get this name, then please answer appropriately. And then I can ask my first system, please give me the custom greeting that doesn't know about the mock system. It will just, um, as in any time, access the external system and give me the greeting. And then I can verify, um, first of all, if the external system was called prop uh, appropriately and also if the overall greeting um, is correct. And the implementation for this, well, it um, is configured against um, now the second system, which I know is now an actually a running mock server. And then this can be controlled using the Java API. For example, if you get uh, opposed to this um, resource using this request body and so on and so forth, then please um, respond appropriately. And then in my test, I can use this. 
So now what I need to do is that I um, have to swap my um, running second system, the greeting processor, by uh, telling Kubernetes apply. Please ap apply the configuration that is in that um, project for the greeting processor mock. This is that configuration. And now it actually, um, if you look at the um, part, it just returned um, a different one. This just has been started up. And now what I can do, I can start, first of all, the simple test. That is easy because it doesn't use the external system. It will just ask our service to give us the, the default greeting. And now if I ask for the custom greeting, what it will do, that it will ask um, and control it will ask the first system and control the second system to answer appropriately. And now if I, now you see the, the test is successful, we can also run that again for both tests. And uh, we see that um, our first system works. And if I would, for example, ask um, again for the hello, this still works. But if I would ask hello Kubernetes again, now we see it is a default response that is, um, that is coming from uh, the second system because it's not configured for Kubernetes, for example. And this is how we can use um, Kubernetes, first of all, to encapsulate external systems that can be mocked away and how to use a technology like WireMock or Mock Server to control these systems that will be accessed in our first system. And the nice story about that is that we don't have to reconfigure or change anything in the system we want to test in our Hello Cloud service. This doesn't know anything about the mocked system and it will always um, react and respond in the same way as if it would run in production and we just mock and change everything from the outside if we have to or if we want to. And that, can, and that ensures that then on production the system will behave in the same way because we don't change anything. We don't even change configuration because what it is connected the, our system is just connected against the logical service name. That comes from the Kubernetes service. And in our system test example, this will be um, internally swapped away, um, swapped against the um, WireMock implementation. So I hope you got the idea how to write end-to-end -end tests and where uh, Kubernetes can help you here. You will find this, uh, this example on GitHub, the Hello Cloud um, application and the greeting processor. And thank you very much for watching.